Hello children, welcome back to our science class. I hope you all done the assignment. So first we can check the assignment answers. Write a short note on FEMA. Second question was, what is the function of the tiny holes on the bonds? What is humerus? What do you know about the ribcage? So you have to check your answers along with this. So if any mistake is there, correct it. So last class, we studied about ribcage. So we can make a quick revision about the last day's session. Ribcage protects lungs and heart. That is our internal organs. Then it consists of pairs of ribs, curved and flexible ribs. Then uh, some ribs having a name, floating ribs. Two pairs of ribs having floating ribs attached only to spine. Then we studied limbs, limbs, two types of limbs, upper limb and lower limb. Upper limb have one, one, one kind of a long bond, it is known as humerus. Lower limb is known as ulna and radius. Lower limb has two types of bonds, ulna and radius. Then wrist, palm and fingers are made up of small kinds of bonds. Then upper leg, upper leg and lower leg. Upper leg, that bond name is femur, it bears the entire weight of our body. Then lower leg, tibia and fibula. Then angles and toes consist of small bonds. Then structure of bone also we studied. So it consists of bonds and inside of the bone a spongy jelly like substance is there. It is known as bone marrow. Okay, so today we are going to study about joints. So last class we completed about skeletal system. We studied skeletal system, how it is made, which are the important parts of our skeletal system. The important parts of skeletal system are skull, ribcage, backbone and limb bones. So we studied the detailed explanation for each part. And also we studied about bonds, bonds, their structure, parts and everything. So now we are going to study about joints. So we already studied that our body is fully made up with bonds. So how the bonds are connected? So a joint is a place where the bonds are connected together. So we can say the bonds are connected together at a particular place that is known as joint. Joints hold the bonds together at the same time it helps in the easy movement, movement of our body. So we can check what about joints. So a joint is a place where two or more bonds are connected and joint helps to connect the bonds together and also help in the movement. Then how the bonds can be connected? So actually the joint is helping for that moreover that a ligament is there a ligament is a tough fibrous tissue that connects one bond to another and also it is strengthen the joint a ligament is a tough fibrous tissue so tissue we already studied in the smaller session a tissue is that the cells connect together to give tissue cells are the building blocks of our body so when cells connect together it will give a tissue so a ligament is a tough tissue, fibrous tissue that connects one bond to another to strengthen a joint. So as we all know that every day we are doing many works, many movements we have to do. So because of the movement, there is a chance of friction, friction between the bonds. So what is actually friction? So friction is that when the rubbing, when one body rub over another body or the rubbing of one surface on another surface, that is known as friction. So as a result what will happen if daily if uh, the movement is there what will happen? The friction will increase. So, so that is why yeah, I think you heard that the many aged people are saying that they have joint pains. Joint pains and difficulty in moving joints. So because of the friction, the increase in friction. So there is a fluid between the bones is there. So that fluid is known as lubricant. So it reduces friction and enable bonds to move smoothly. So a fluid is there in joints. So this is actually helping the bonds to move very easily. So I hope you heard that about in the case of missionaries also. Missionaries, there we are applying some oil for the easy movement of the missionary parts. It's like the same way here in the case of our body, the lubricant is that oil that will help the easy movement of our bonds. Then there are two types of joints, movable and immovable joints. Most of the joints are movable, only a few are immovable. So the immovable joints are mainly we can see in the skull. 
mainly we can see in the skull teeth and their sockets the immovable joints mainly we can see in the skull teeth and their sockets all the remaining joints are movable so we can check which are they there are two types of joints movable and immovable movable joints are classified into four types there are four types of movable joints first one hinge joint second one ball and socket next one pivot and last one gliding joint and before that before going to that we can see the picture of a ligament so this is the ligament portion it is actually helping in the it will connect the bonds to get together and also strengthen the joint next is types of joints first one hinge joint we can see many examples for hinge joint mainly elbow joint knee joint finger joints and toe joints can you say how the name that hinge joint what it is implies hinge joint means that hinge that is connecting doors so it will helps the door to open and it will helps the door for opening and closing so hinge is actually helping the opening and closing of door so it's like the same way in our body also a joint is there it will allows the movement in only in one direction for example our elbow portion so we can move our elbows in only in one direction okay next is knee joint in our knee also the same kind of joint we can see then finger joints we can make the movements like this so only in one direction then toe joints the joints we can see in our toes so this is about hinge joints hinge joint allows the movement of bones in one direction just like the hinge of a door and next thing is ball and socket joint so as the name itself it is it will act as a ball and socket so here one bone will act as a hollow cap and hollow so hollow socket and the other bone will act as a ball and it will fit into the that socket that is ball and socket joint so we can mainly see in hip joint and our shoulder joint these are examples for ball and socket joint ball and socket joint allows bones to move in many directions one of the bones in this joint has a structure like a hollow cup the ball shaped end of the other bone fits into this cup so that is about ball and socket joint so now we studied two types of joints remaining two are there so first we studied hinge joints hinge joints allows the movement only in one direction examples are our shoulder joint knee joint our toe joints then finger joints then we studied ball and socket joint mainly we can see the ball and socket joint in our shoulder and also in our hip and it will allow the movement in many directions and next we are going to study about pivot joint so it is a flexible joint compared to the hinge joint it is a flexible joint so we can mainly see the pivot joint in between the skull and the first two vertebrae of the spine so i already told you in the last session what is vertebrae so our backbone our backbone or spine or vertebral column consists of many small bones connected together irregular bones so that irregular bones have the name vertebrae so the pivot joint is present between the skull and the first two vertebrae of the spine so it will helps it will help to move our head sideways it helps us move our head up and down then and sideways so that is about pivot joint then the last one is gliding joint so it will act as a slide that means the bones can slide one over another gliding joint is a free moving joint this joint helps bones slide or glide against each other it enable us to bend twist turn sideways or forward and backward so last one is gliding joint so here the bones can slide slide against each other so and also it help us to bend twist turn sideways or forward and backward so today we studied about joints as joint is a place where bones connected together so the bones are connected together with the help of a fibrous tissue it is known as ligament and the friction between the bones can be reduced due to the presence of a liquid or a fluid known as lubricant and there are different types of joints mainly two type movable and immovable and immovable joints mainly seen in skull and immovable joints we can see in skull teeth and their sockets 
Then today we are going to study more, we studied more about movable joints. There are four types of movable joints. First one, hinge joint. Hinge joint can move, the bones in hinge, hinge joint can move only in one direction. Examples, elbow joint, knee joint, finger joint and toe joint. Then we studied ball and socket joint. The speciality is that uh, that particular joint, the bones can move in many directions. Examples are uh, the joints, shoulder joint and hip joint. Then we studied pivot joint and pivot joint is a flexible joint and it is present between the skull and the two, first two vertebrae of the spine. So because of this we can move our head sideways. Then last we studied gliding joint. So in gliding joints the bone slides or sides or glide against each other. So because of this joint we can bend, twist, turn sideways or forward and backward. So next is assignment. What is a joint? Second question, how many kinds of movable joints are there? Which are they? Name the types of joints seen in the elbow and hip. Write a difference between them. What kind of joints are present in our wrist? Are they movable or immovable? Give reason. So find out the answers. Read, read and study the lesson. We will see in the next class. Thank you.